Chop a bus in half. Sometimes I even frighten me. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer to enter for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of... That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection, which that probably down a Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Talks that place. That's it. Flush him out and you put them down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I want to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give it to So wonderful. I rejected chocolate now. Cat butter out of my life. I scooted around the house with my legs pinned behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like... Lazo, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink three pints of hand-pressed potatoes. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to the movies and go. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first. Hey, Jack, over here! An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, they'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, good luck. the near finish. It's three drawers, and knowing this station, it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it simple. Dragon stance. hey -ya! Oh! Oh, oh Lazo! Lazo! I think I hurt my hand, but... I think he's all been the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Dad, don't mock me. Nowhere. Oh, I bruised easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. He's very fun of that, so it's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the fun swing here. Down right. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute.
qué, gringo? They're on Chatterbox. Play up, little man. I, I was listening. other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you can play swimmy stuff like, like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court since the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby, Hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrub and I'll date. I'll take anybody down. I'm the Hopscotch master. I got fly skills, Hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it! We're both going to do pretty well out of this, kid. Hey, no! and his kid will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I can... Flashback, flashback, flashbacks. Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> and who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo...
military teaches you respect, obedience, and he gives you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information is. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Nazis are ruthless. They acquired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in a camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Roswell? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't Gordon. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head. Unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear... Scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they... to his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. With the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tiny sports jacket? With a lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com.
All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's a good eat. No. You got any pride idea what to say? You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness, and he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition. He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal. On a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dorm. Or Mark, or John, or Beverly, whatever your name is. All right. <laughs> 